crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Monday, October 18th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. Alright, it looks like something very interesting is happening on the grid today. We've got little shaded groups of three squares, and they're bracketed by these black bars on either side. Very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen something like this before. Alright, let's start with one across. State known for lobsters and pine trees. That's got to be Maine. Okay, let's start building down. Fine lattice? That could be a mesh. Alright, maybe we can try and start building into this first gray section. Kind of sax. I think that's got to be an alto sax. It's curtains for me. And these quotes mean we need to come up with an equivalent phrase for it's curtains for me. Um, I want it to be I'm finished. No, that's much too long. Hmm, it's not I'm toast either. That's too short. Interesting. Let's come back to that one. Conjunction used in logic. I have a feeling this is nor. Abbreviation after a lawyer's name, that's Esquire, like Bill S. Preston Esquire. All right, why don't we take a peek at this first long across here. This goes all the way across the grid. Athlete who rarely gets sacked or has a pass intercepted. Hmm. Well, it's going to be a really good quarterback, right? I wonder if this Q is going to be part of the quarterback? Yeah, maybe it's a star quarterback? That would make a lot of sense. Quarterback, okay. So what does that give us here? Tar and art. Interesting. Well, they're anagrams of each other. I don't know if they're going to have anything else in common. Right. Pig. That could be a hog. Alright, now I think we can fill this in. This is looking like I'm a goner, right? Alright, we've got another R here. I wonder if these are all going to be anagrams of art? I don't know. Is that possible? It seems like there's too many spaces. It seems like we'd run out of permutations of these three letters. You know what, let's try and fill in this one and see if it's A, R, and T again ran across. Yeah, that should be met. And then is this going to be an A? Director Duvernay. Yeah, that's Ava Duvernay, right? So it's tar again. Hmm. Is it always going to be tar and art? We're starting with tar again. This has three blocks of three letters, though. Hmm. Frenzies. That could be manias. Two, four, six, and eight, but not one, three, five, and seven. I guess those are evens. Microwave notification. That could be a ding. Simplicity. Maybe that's ease. All right, let's take a look at this next grid spanner here. Maybe we can find out why this has three instead of two groups of three. Figure to aim for according to personal trainers. Hmm. Well, it's definitely going to start with target. Um, one of these is probably going to be art, right? Interesting. I'm not sure how this is going to end. Target weight? I don't think that's right. Let's move back up here and start to try and work our way back through this one. As you can see, I like to fill in the grid by working off of answers I already have filled in. I feel like if you have one or two squares in an answer already, it really helps to see what the correct answer should be. Okay, causes of some mysterious radar blips in brief. Could that be UFOs? Yeah. Okay. Classic cinema name. That's definitely the Odeon. That's why the old coin-operated movie machines were called Nickelodeons. Yeah. Okay. Stereotypical name for a dog. That's gotta be Fido. 
Ferdinand and Isabella's land. They were royalty in Spain, right? Non-vegan shortening? That's definitely lard. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that. Laziest of the deadly sins. I guess that would be sloth. Not just a cute animal. Outdoor lounging area. That must be patio. Okay, we've got this filled in too. Otto. Germany's von Bismarck. Yeah, Otto von Bismarck. I think he was the first leader of a unified Germany, if I remember correctly. We've got Thai also. Classic Father's Day gift. Yes. All right. Charlotte Hoopster. Um, I think it's the Charlotte Hornets, right? So that would be a hornet. It's asking for Hoopster singular, so our answer has to be singular. All right, maybe we can keep building off of this across here. Pig in the wild could be a boar. We've got a boar and a hog. Nice, we've got a very pig heavy puzzle so far. Start of a nursery rhyme about bags of wool. Isn't that Ba Ba Black Sheep? Yeah. So that's going to start with Ba Ba. All right, now we've got a sheep along with our two pigs. Detach as a seatbelt. Hmm. This seems like it should start with un. Um, like unclasp? I'm not sure how it's going to end. Let's try and get some help on the end here. Like neon gas. That should be noble. The noble gases are inert. They don't react with anything else. Okay. These two A's are looking weird. It's inhaled on an ocean cruise. Oh, I guess it would be the sea air. <laughs> okay. If it's two words in a row, the two A's look a lot better. All right. So is this not click? Unclick? That's weird. Is this going to be a U? Pal. Is that bub? Kind of like a friendly nickname? Hmm. Actress Gasteyer of Saturday Night Live fame? That's Anna Gasteyer. Yeah, she was on in the 90s. Hmm. Maybe this is just unclip. There we go. All right, and then what is this one? Bread makers are bakers. Yeah, okay. All right, so this is interesting. This is a organization of these letters that we haven't seen yet. Tar, art, and this is going to be tra. Okay, that's a new sequence. Run down places, I guess could be rat traps. And that's another new sequence. We haven't seen rat before either. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Mix with a spoon could be stir. Pen light batteries, pen light. So they're gonna be very small batteries. So that would be triple A's maybe. Blank latte, maybe a chai latte. We're getting into chai latte season here. Butler of Gone with the Wind. Yeah, that's Rhett Butler. One named Pop Diva. That has to be Cher, right? All right, target, maybe it's heart rate. Nice, okay. So we have art and rat again. All right. So it seems like maybe we're just getting random reorganizations of the letters A-R-T. Yeah, okay. And they can repeat from line to line. Blank the night before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas. It's a little early, but yeah. Pastry made with an orchard fruit. Well, it has to be a tart, right? Um, so what could that be? An orchard fruit, and it's only four letters. Um, and we have to have an A and an R here. I'm thinking it's probably A, R, maybe it's a pear tart. There we go, excellent. Okay, maybe we can work down off of this. Lion packs or prides, yeah. Shout accompanying a brilliant realization. It's gotta be Eureka. Prehistoric human relations. And this is a wordplay clue as indicated by this question mark here. What you have to do with wordplay clues is look for a punny answer. On its face, this clue seems like it's about relationships between prehistoric humans. But since it's a wordplay clue, we have to look for something punny. 
Maybe it's going to be about relatives to prehistoric humans. Yeah, maybe it'll be like an ancient cousin to prehistoric humans. I'm not sure exactly what this is going to be. Let's get a little bit of crossing help here. Coins of India, that's going to be rupees. Woman's name derived from the Greek for peace. Um, I wonder if that could be Irene. All right, we've got ape in here. That's looking pretty good. Um, I'm still not sure exactly what this is going to be. Let's see if we can get the end down here. Blank out a living, eek out a living. Yeah, and then blank Andreas Fault is going to be the San Andreas Fault. Okay, so maybe this is going to be ape men. That would be prehistoric human relations. Yeah, our very distant ancestors. Okay. Nevada Slot City. That's got to be Reno. And let's get this last down here. Super miniature dog breed size. Um... Are they called teapot? Would that be a very small dog breed size? I don't really know, but that sounds plausible. And then that would mean this would be Irina, not Irene. Okay, well that still looks pretty good. All right, maybe we can get this other grid spanner down here. Let's take a look at that. We know which letter should go in here at least. Political group symbolized by a donkey. Shouldn't that be the Democratic Party? Yeah, that means teapot is wrong. Okay, Democratic Party, excellent. Yeah, that gives us rat and art again. That's looking good. Um, hmm, I don't know how this is gonna end. Let's see if we can build off of this here. Messenger molecule could be RNA, ribonucleic acid. Okay, disbelieving laughs. Maybe it's HARS? That's kind of a sarcastic laugh, yeah. Look blank this way. Look at it this way. Trying to get someone to see something from your point of view. Not with the times. Hmm. I really want that to be unhip. Maybe it's just Haas? That could be unhip. Oh, it's teacup, not teapot. <laughs> we were close, okay. Histories that may be checkered or sorted. I guess you could have a checkered past, a sorted past, yeah. And it has to be pasts in the plural because it's asking for histories, plural. Your clue and answer always have to match in pluralization. Okay. Tosses as a coin could be flips. Angels overhead, and this is another wordplay clue. So it's not going to be about the costs that an angel is incurring to run his business, yeah. It's going to be about something that's literally over the head of an angel, and that's going to be a halo. <laughs> okay, I don't know what kind of business an angel would be running, but yeah. Voting group, that's going to be a block. Stuff of little substance, that could be fluff maybe? Start as a computer, that's got to be boot up, right? And then what is this? Holier than blank? Holier than thou? Maybe like an angel? <laughs> Housetop could be a roof. Bar mitzvah dances. Those are called the hora. So that could be horas, plural, because it's asking for dances, plural. Yeah, it's kind of a dance you do in a circle. And then that gives us tau for sigma's follower. That's a Greek letter, okay. Telepathic letters, extra sensory perception. That's looking great. Ooh, it looks like we've finally got our revealer here. Let's finally get an explanation for what's going on with these ART letters. Various creative mediums, or a hint to variations found in the shaded squares. Um, okay, it's looking like this is gonna be art forms. That's an answer to various creative mediums, right? Different art forms are various creative mediums, and it's also, if you take it literally, a way of saying you need to rearrange the letters in art to make different forms. Yeah, that's almost like a cryptic clue. I like that. In cryptic crosswords, there's a lot of indication words that mean that you have to mix up the letters in something, and this is a lot like that. It's kind of telling you to anagram art into all these different 
forms. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, that's a very good revealer there. I guess maybe they needed the black bars to ensure that you didn't think that these groups that are right next to each other were part of the same block. Yeah, you needed something to separate them. That makes sense. Okay. All right, let's clean up this corner down here. That's really nice. Another equivalent phrase. Maybe it's just ooh, like you're ooing and eyeing. Okay. Suing people? Suing. Um, like people that were part of the Sioux Nation? Maybe that could be Oto? Possibly? Let's see if that's right. Amazing Grace, for one, is a hymn. And let's check this across here. Handmade sign held up by a kid in the bleachers. Could that be hi, mom? <laughs> okay. And then that leaves us with twin Mary-Kate or Ashley. Yeah, those are both the Olsen twins, right? So they should be an O, noodle soup in Hanoi. Pho, yeah. I love pho. It's such a good thing to have on a cold winter day. And then this should be an L, feel sick, ale. Yeah, all right, I think that's gonna do it for us. All right, that was a cute little Monday puzzle. The anagramming of a string of letters is something that's a pretty common theme element, although I really did like this art forms revealer. It reminds me so much of a cryptic crossword and I really like when they do that. I also like that we got a couple of wordplay clues on a Monday. Eight men is pretty funny. And Halo was a great example of the type of wordplay that's very common on New York Times puzzles. So I'm glad we got that on a Monday. And you know what? I think there's a couple of answers in here we didn't look at as we were solving. This one, moistens is wet. Yeah, okay. And then I think we skipped this one too. Saint blank fire. Yeah, that's Saint Elmo's fire. That's a very interesting phenomenon. If I'm remembering it right, it's like a kind of a plasma that shows up on the top of sailing vessels sometimes. Yeah, it's kind of wild sounding. Actually, yeah, you might get to see some St. Elmo's fire if you're on an ocean cruise, getting some fresh sea air. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving this particular kind of art form with me. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the Tuesday puzzle, and I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.